Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Institute of Technology. My name is Artemi and I'll be your guide today. So this is the first room when you enter the building. Here you can leave your coat, go grab a snack or go straight to the classroom. We are now in the biggest auditorium in the building, room 121. Here you're going to have your first info session where you're going to meet your uh, course mates, fellow science and technology students and program director. And here, after three years of high wor hard work, you're going to defend your thesis. Institute of Technology is an interesting place. Here, on one floor, you can meet plant biologists and also robotic specialists. Let's start with the plants, shall we? Welcome to the plant paradise. Here we grow some common plants in ideal conditions, ideal humidity, ideal temperature, ideal dark light cycle, and all in the name of science. When the plants are ready, we transfer them to the gas exchange chamber. So let's take a look at that. Here you see our miracle machine or state-of-the-art device, which was designed and built in the Institute of Technology. This uh, uh, device allows uh, researchers to check how different mutations affect the gas exchange in the plants. And in the nutshell, how we can save fresh water in agriculture. So we are now in robotics wing. Here, researchers think of different things. For example, how to make online shopper better by uh, making robots take the shape of your body so you can see how it fits. Or how robots can mix you a drink or a cup of coffee. Or even more, how soft robots, which mimic uh, biology, can revolutionize future medicine. When doing biology experiments, you first need to sterilize things, your equipment, as well as growth medias in this machine called autoclave. And afterwards, when you're doing the experiments, usually they need cold temperature. That's why we always take this slice from the ice machine. So we are now in a, a safety cabinet room. Here, researchers work with the cell culture line, which are very fragile and need to be held in the sterile conditions. Already in the first semester, you will get a practice and work with them here in the safety cabinets. We are in the microscope room uh, where we study yeast cells and their cell cycle with the help of fluorescent microscope. As you can see, you can um, follow the cells uh, from the time course and different positions and then you get a lot of data which you further analyze on the computer. Okay guys, if your first thought is uh, UV light, then you are right. And what you see here, these are DNA bands, the same DNA as in every living organism. And if you are wondering why you are not uh, fluoresced in the solarium, it's very easy. You don't see the DNA itself, but the dye, which is uh, uh, connected to the DNA. We are in the molecular biology lab right now, and I'm going to show you different devices and different things we do here. For example, this machine is called centrifuge and it's uh, basically help us precipitate samples and uh, get rid of the li uh, excessive liquids. And this one here is called micropipette and its sole purpose is to transfer liquids from one tube to another with a precision to microliter. And now I'm going to show you the device you all heard of, the PCR machine. These are the PCR samples and we all did the test for corona and the machine looks like that. You put sample inside, close the lid, and press start. As simple as that. Welcome to the home to the one and only Estonian iGEM team, where students work on their project, um, bond, have fun, and achieve incredible results. You, future science and technology student, can join the team already in the first course. While doing the project, they don't only sit in the lab, they also collaborate with different teams and also do some public events and even create the art pieces. We're in a so-called shaker room. So you've seen the plants paradise and this one is microorganism paradise. So these are here yeast cells and which grew overnight in ideal conditions with ideal temperature and ideal shaking to make sure that every cell gets enough oxygen. And these here are centrifuges. So you've seen one on the tabletop, right? But this one is much bigger and can do much higher speeds.
On the fourth floor, there is also the Office of uh, Science and Technology Program Director, Ilona Faustova. If you ever need any help, the uh, door is always open for you. Hey, am I interrupting? So here, students can always get help, support, and brainstorm their great ideas. Good luck, guys. If uh, Shaker is a microorganism's paradise, then this is Paradise 2.0. Here, you can control everything connected to the growth of microorganisms, from the input of fresh media to their pH and temperature and uh, different gases, and you can monitor all that stuff on the computer live. So, we are in the proteomics core facility of the University of Tartu. Here, the protein samples are analyzed and determined. And they do that not only for the university, but also for uh, customers abroad and even to the cheese farms. Sounds cool, right? And this machine here is HPLC, which uh, can help you determine which chemicals are in solutions. So we are in the classrooms where you're going to have your seminars, lectures, or even robotics practical sessions. Our tour is coming to an end. But don't forget to apply and join our science and technology family.